All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, the topic of this video is you don't need a woman to make you happy. You know, when you're dealing with this truth, you know, first and foremost, Yahweh by Hashem is supposed to come first. You know, Yahweh by Hashem is the Father in the name of the Son. You know, in Hebrew. Um, first off, you know, uh, I'm going to touch on this quick little subject because you got this woman named uh, Sandra Bland um, who just uh, ended up, you know, they said that she died in police custody, you know. Whereas though, like, first off, if she was uh, anywhere near wise, she would have just shut up, you know, and um, did what the officer said to do, you know. First off, we're not white, you know. So why are you trying to act like you got the same rights as these um, nigga women out here? I mean, the the, the Edomite women, you know, so-called white women out here. You know, if she would have just shut her mouth and agreed with the adversary, you know, she would still be living to this day, you know. But, you know, she she got killed, you know, and that's just uh, straight and to the point. And a lot of these women out here um, need to look at Sandra Bland as a uh, example you know, of what they need to do or what not to do, you know, when you're dealing with um, the police, first off. But at the same time, the police not going to um, gonna save you, you know. And and the Lord, you know, put put her to death, you know, to the point where now y'all women, y'all can't run to Esau no more, you know. Y'all can't run to the white man, the devil, anymore, you know. Pretty soon, there's going to be mad hell chaos out here. You know, where a lot of these guys are going to be getting put to death and a lot of y'all niggas, y'all nigga woman, going to be getting knocked out, raped, you know, even even put to death. Hell is really going to come down on y'all, you know. This is not the time to be sitting up here trying to fall in love with people, you know. As, as America say, you know. This is not the time to be buddy-buddy, uh, you know, with the world, you know. And a lot of these women are worldly. They're not trying to do the, what the Lord want, man, you know? So this is not the time to be um, in love with these women, you know? So so the, 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 the time will come when these women will be in their right frame of mind, you know? Because these women, they flock to the power anyway, you know? Right now, the so-called white man is giving them the power, so they're they going to try to be the best nurse that they can be. Because that's pretty much what all these bitches out here think that they are. You know, nurses or whatever else uh, Esau tells them that they can be. You know, rather than being women of the Lord, you got these women out here, you know, who who dress up like sluts. You know, that that pretty much there's nothing uh, virtuous about them. You know, they say that uh, they're women of God, but the first thing that you see is cleavage, you know. But this is uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 28. It says, which, it says, uh, which, my, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand I have, I mean, have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. You know, King Solomon, you know, wrote Ecclesiastes, you know, and he said that out of a thousand women, he didn't find not one woman out of any of them, you know, so if he didn't have any success with those women back then, you know, what are the chances of you having success with these women today? And women back then, they knew that they was Israelites or they knew who they were, you know, so if he didn't have the success back then, what makes you guys, guys think that y'all going to have success with these women nowadays? You got to deal with their attitude, you know, a lot of them be stinking, you know, they, 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 they fit all the curses, you know. So so pretty much they out of order. So this is not the time to be uh, falling in love or being under subjection to women, you know. And and IUIC, you know, they 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 trying to teach this doctrine of marriage being only one man and one woman and that like they act as though that king solomon is the only one that had multiple wives throughout the scriptures you know 
What, 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 how many wives did King David have, man? You know? What was the promise that Yahweh Shah told? Because y'all don't even go by the name Yahweh Shah. What was the promise that he told his apostles? You know, his disciples. You know? Matter of fact, I get that right here. You know? Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and his and, and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, in his own life, he cannot be my disciple, you know? So so that's what, what pretty much Yahweh Shah told his apostles, you know? This is not the time to be uh, trying to fall in love with these women, man, you know? You got to hate your life and you got to want to get up out of this system, you know? Because there's oppression all the way around, you know? The women are... are, are Number two to our, on the enemy list, man. First is Esau, and then it's our women, man. The nigga woman. That's the Negroes, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. You know? But I want to go in on this topic, you know, because IUIC did a video talking about uh, it's just uh, supposed to be one man and one woman. And they was talking to um, the, 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 the married couple, you know, and I'll post a link in my video. But um, this is 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Right? It says, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Right? Now I'm going to go into the definition of fornication. Right? It says, elicited sexual intercourse. Right? Adultery. You know, adultery, this is fornication. You know, adultery is plain and simple, sleeping with another man's woman. You know, it's and, and technically everybody out here is adulterous, man. We're not with our, our first woman, you know. So this is the reason why uh, Paul said that, you know. It says adultery, fornication, homosexuality, because homosexuality is fornication, you know. Lesbianism, intercourse with animals that's that's all fornication now even more because this is what the scriptures say right it says sexual intercourse with close relatives you know so this is the reason why he's telling people don't have uh to avoid trying to touch these women you know because you don't know whether or not these are really your close re relatives or, or what man you know it says uh sexual intercourse with a divorced man or woman you know and they're pretty much going off on the divorced man part, you know. And then it also says the worship of idols, you know. So when it says to avoid um, fornication, you know, that's also talking about when you deal with these women, you know, a lot of these women come with different philosophies, man. And they'll get you off of the path to what, what the Lord wants from you, man. So that's the reason why Paul actually said that it's good for you not to touch a woman, man, you know. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. It says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. You know, if y'all guys in IUIC or anybody that um, is in so-called in this truth, man, you see that this thing is going up. The Lord is speeding this thing up, man. You know, these prophecies are coming to pass. You know, the racial wars are really coming. And y'all women, y'all, 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 y'all got to be some of the stupidest people out here, man. Here you got Esau, you know, the, 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 the government, you know, it, they don't care if you, you're a lesbian, they don't care if you're gay, they don't care if you're a woman, you know, as long as you are of, of that age, you know, and you can go into the, to the military, they're going to draft you, you know, so y'all can love this society all you want, you know, you'll be right up there and fighting for this country, you know, the, the, the so-called country that you love, that, oh, times has changed, we can do this, okay, we're going to see just how you're going, you're going to live and die by those words. Same way Sandra Blonde, whatever the heck her name is, uh, did. It says the time is short. It remaineth. You know, because we're trying to get up out of this, this society. It's not the time to be trying to love these women. It says that both they that have wives be as though they had none. You know? So once you're in this truth, man, you're not. we're not worried about whether our women is mad, man. When it comes to the doing this work, man, of course, man, when you in the, when you in the, you got a woman, you know, 
you can do what you got to do, but you're going to have trouble in the flesh, man. You're going to have arguments, disagreements, and all type of stuff, man. You know, and ain't nobody, I'm not trying to, to we're not at GMS telling y'all to not deal with women, you know. Or, or if you got a woman, don't uh, treat her right, you know. Because you, if you've been wicked, you know the Lord going to deal with you. We're not like IUIC to tell y'all brothers or tell these, these women out here, okay, we know that your guys are wicked. You know we're going to uh, get on them. No, that's dumb between you and the Lord, man. You know? So, so at the same time, the, the, the situation is this, this, this society is crashing, you know? And, and right now, it's not the time to be falling in love, man. You know? The women are going to come, you know? And and when you look at things on the opposite end, you know, these women, you know, if they really was uh, so-called, quote-unquote, um, women of the Lord, you know, or, or supposedly in the truth, you know, then then they will follow this, you know, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, that they may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives, right? I'm gonna jump down to uh, I'm gonna jump down to the fifth verse. It says, "For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God, because these women don't, out here don't really trust in God like they they say, you know." It says, "Or adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands," right? These women out here, you know, they're not under subjection to the Lord, man. It says, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, you know, Sarah, Sarah, Abraham's wife called him Lord, man. It says, who daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement, you know, so. And then here go another scripture, the, the next verse. It says, Likewise, ye husband, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. You know, these women, they, they don't want to acknowledge that they're uh, weaker vessels, man. You know? But but with the, the, the stuff going on, the time being short and everything like that, man, you know, here go uh, Isaiah... Four. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the third verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at uh, Isaiah three and twenty-five. It says, "Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war." You know, so this time these things are coming to pass, man. The time is short, man, and these racial rise pretty soon. It's not going to be no okay. Y'all killed these people. Okay, let's have peaceful, peaceful protests and everything like that. These people are really fed up, and they're going to really. Uh, start going back and forth with the police, man. Martial law is coming to America, man. FEMA camps, man. World War Three, you know the RFID chip, man. All of these things are coming to America, man. And our people, you know, two thirds of our people going to get destroyed up all up in that, man. You know, and those people, as the scriptures say, it says, "Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war." Right? It says, uh. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall fall upon the ground. It says, and then uh, Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day seven women, which seven is the number of completion, you say it says, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know? So, so th when that time comes, man, these women going to be in order, man. You, and what y'all IUIC niggas going to be saying, man? Oh, uh, I only got one woman, you know? What would the scriptures say, man? You know? Y'all niggas is wicked, man. I'm going to get um one more verse.
you know, the the the, the this the situation, man, with with guys trying to fall in love, man, that's just gonna get y'all off the course, man. You know? We we trying to get y'all on onto the path of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, you know. And do what he want, man. Because these words that we're not, we, we it's all through the spirit. You know? Uh, this is Matthew 19. Hold on. Yeah, Matthew 19 and 29. It says, And everyone that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life right so the thing is right is if, if when you when you when, in the kingdom you know we're going to inherit that man you know and women women are going back to being um possessions man you know it's the scriptures say man y'all y'all guys act like women aren't possessions man you know, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yah Bashim Yah Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Stay focused, Akim. Shalom.